Right, folks, in this video, I'll be showing you how to pull out some rebar that's been driven into the ground. Now, the previous owner of the property thought it'd be a good idea to take these eight foot pieces of rebar and drive them into the ground about halfway uh, and just sort of leave them there. It's a bit overkill if you ask me, but uh, so what you're going to want to do is get some locking pliers, vice grips, and a two by four. And as you see here, you can just work it underneath there like so and put some force on it, a little lever action and slowly but surely it'll work its way up. This one here in the video wasn't too bad. I was worried about it being next to that uh, little stump there that it would get stuck, but uh, you know, just uh, give it a few times like that and it'll work its way up. And then she's loose enough, go ahead and grab onto it and yank her out. Just like that. Yes, uh, next one though you'll be seeing here, uh, it was next to a substantial tree. I, I assume they wanted it there to keep the tree upright. Well, they let the roots grow around it and then it was damn near impossible to get that thing up and out of there. So I devised a method of using a uh, wedge to pound under there. Yeah, I uh, resorted to uh, using the wedge after snapping two two by fours in half and uh, also bending the crap out of the rebar itself. Um, it didn't seem like I was going to be able to get enough force on it without uh, breaking the tools I had to work with. So that's why I switched to using this wedge here. Of course, doing this uh, one-handed holding the camera phone was not really working out so well for me here. So the uh, majority of this remainder of the video is going to be still, still images. Uh, you're just going to have to deal with that. So about that time I decided to use the stump against itself and just uh, took the wedge and put it directly on top of there. And uh, it was working pretty good. I couldn't really tell if it was moving or not, but I kept at it, uh, wedging that under there and, and hammering it through with the end of an axe. Um, and uh, like I said, I, I ultimately ended up putting a little scratch marks on the on the rebar itself just to let me be able to tell if she was moving. I think this next picture here is supposed to illustrate that. You might see a little tiny scratch mark on there. Uh, and that just gives you a little bit of a reassurance that it's actually moving. But yeah, I had to work on that, pounding that uh, wedge in there over and over again, just moving it up like a couple, yeah, you know, like a half inch at a time. And, and that's about all I could do. Um, and then about part way through my, my wedge suffered catastrophic failure. But uh, when life gives you lemons, you, you end up with two wedges, I guess. So uh, that was all right. And I just worked with that a few more times, jamming it under there, hammering it through. And uh, <clears throat> like I say, I could only get it up just a little bit. That's what she said, right? Joke for the kids there. Uh, and then I tried stepping on it, you know, giving a little girth on there, see what that could do. That, that didn't really help too much. But I did finally get it out of there. Uh, and uh, it was a pain in the ass. So uh, I would not recommend driving a rebar down four feet next to a tree. But uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. This video was brought to you by Corn Dogs. Corn Dogs, get one in you. Catch you next time.